Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about here is the uh, intersystem bonding termination device. It is Article 250.94. It started in the 2008 book, NEC 2008. Somebody wrote it there. And then they upgraded it some between, so I only got the 2020 book, okay? So this is the two books that, that, that have this art that I'm going to talk about. This is bonding termination device. What it is, is it's nothing less than, all it is is a grounding bus bar. And um, Madison Electric put one out in Southland, Southwire, uh, licensed it. So uh, when I got a code correction to have this put on my panel, I was so pissed off that I made my own. Okay, so I looked up the code to find out what 250.94 is with this intersystem bonding termination device is. And what I did is I made this here disk because it's supposed to be uh, at the service equipment. So everybody knows that the service equipment is the ground, not only the breaker system, but the ground. So what I made this thing to go on here and this here. And, um, and I drew this little thing on here because I figured that this... This code is the dumbest code I've ever heard of. I've been in this business for 49 years. There's never been a more stupider thing ever put in the code book. It's put in the code book by a bunch of kids. Anyways, in order, because I was so mad about the other thing, I made my own. And I even drew it on the, on the label. And you can see it in my, my fixturesupportsystems.net, the, uh, the website. What I did is I printed out that's in the package the ma max in, to, to match the code and what it does. It's got uh, uh, the intersystem bonding termination device for intersystem. Intersystem bonding termination device is just a big crap because all it is is a bus bar. And it's for other people, which doesn't make any sense because in Article 90, at the beginning of the book, it states it right there that we don't cover communication equipment. And this is... That's exactly what this thing is for. So I lined it up anyways. Look at my. So what I did is I matched all this stuff up here and here and here. And then what I did, check the code book. And because between the 2008 and 2020, they added something else. Somewhere along the line, they added a B product. You get wide? Just widen it out. So they added a B, and what B is, is just a quarter inch aluminum block. It's got to be two inches in length and wide enough for uh, less, no less than three connections. So what I did is I made this other one. And um, they said it needs listed connectors. Well, the only thing that could be a listed connector in here is a ring terminal. And the other things I made, I put a, uh, we put a, a pad on the back because you can't touch aluminum with directly to concrete. So what you can do here is now you can because I put a pad on it and you can screw it in there. So this is just to cover the A or B. But then it's this one here, this B, on, on, on A you need a six jumper cable and it's got to be electrically connected to the panel or something like that, some, some generic term they're using. But over here, it doesn't say anything. On the B, it just says other means, and this is it. It doesn't have to be connected to anything or number six wire. This is because kids that are writing these codes don't know what they're writing. In fact, they don't even know how to read, because at the beginning of the book, it says they don't even take care of this. See, we can't use these. We can't use any of this stuff. This is not electrical. It's got nothing to do with fire danger. And we can't use it anyway, because this is for open wires. And some of the ABCs of electrical, is, it's got to be run in a raceway. We cannot run open wires on your wall. It's not, nothing to do with a code book. This has got nothing to do with 120 volt or 220 volt electrical. It's just a bus bar for somebody else. And to put this on my panel, 
to have wires run all over my, there was no way I was gonna use it. I won't have it on my house and I won't put it on my customer's house. But the National Electrical Code Committee, the new kids writing code, they don't even know what they're writing. This needs a listed connector. Other than that, this has to be electrically connected to the panel and everything else. They both have to be accessible. If you put this in, it's not securely supported because there's no support. You can't just hang this here unit that's designed only to be hung off a half inch knockout. You can't do it. The, the electrical code, the real people who wrote the codes won't let you put, a, a ha won't let you just hang any electrical equipment off the knockout in a panel. This guy thinks it's okay. I watched the, the demonstration on this. It's not okay. There's nothing in the code that says that you can hang any electrical product off a half inch. That half inch knockout that's in a panel is only for the entry of a raceway. It's not for any support at all. So this is designed, this is non-supportive equipment that is just makes it illegal. Anyways, the terminals on this, they say it needs to have listed connectors. On the code, in the book, and then on the B, it's got 250.94A and B. On the B it says use listed connectors. It can only be ring terminals or fork terminals. And I went so far as to actually have these things uh, zinc cast with green, just to show that they're listed. And then I thought about it later. The guys who use this, they don't have crimp tools. I don't know where, I don't know what's happening in Quincy, Massachusetts where kids are writing these codes. But out here, they just wrap a wire around the screw. Besides, this one here doesn't say anything about listed terminal, listed connectors, listed terminals, or, or listed connectors. It could only be a ring terminal, and you can't use a ring terminal because the guys who write the, who do this, they don't have crimpers. They never did. Unless you're going to tell them guys to have, now have crimping tools so they can crimp these wires. The whole thing about the crimping tool is no good. All you need to do is wrap a wire around it. We're putting this on. I designed this only for the benefit of the customer, the property owner, so they don't have this here thing hanging off their panel and with all the wires. This is not designed to meet any 250 code that some kids wrote. I designed this only for the property owner. And you can use it or don't use it. I say don't even pay attention to the code at all. It's got nothing to do with fire rating. It's got nothing to do with electricity. It's just because kids didn't have nothing to do on a Wednesday and they wrote a code. 